In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a slide that can be useful for a startup company or for online education or for some different purposes also. So as you can see here, I have created this uh, 3D mobile device and you can see in the background, you can see the clouds with the sky and how this works is when I click a, a rocket or image or icon, whatever you can add it, you can add it here and then the text comes. So let me just show you when I click, you can see here it comes something like this your headline and you can add some detailed text here all right so depending on your requirement you can replace this rocket with some other uh, images icons or uh, for online education you can add some teachers or so many things you can think of doing with this and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section and i have used office 2019 version to do this if you're using the older version then some features may not be available so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to make a 3d model of the mobile for that go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to select the rounded corner rectangle draw this uh, rounded corner uh, rectangle maybe this much size or depending on the size uh, requirement you can increase or decrease also and i'm going to make it less curved you can see the small orange point just drag this outside something like this and i'm going to keep it here shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and then shape fill any color of your choice you can just fill it here for example let me just put this uh, blue gray then i'm going to make a 3d uh, shape for that right mouse click go to format shape and go to the effects go to 3d rotation from the presets scroll it down under perspective i'm going to choose this one perspective contrasting right just click on that one so you end up getting a shape something like this or depending on your requirement you can bend it you can see here you can use this z rotation i can use maybe something like this you can see here and then i can use y and x rotation also if i just use the y rotation i'm just rotating towards something like this okay so i've used this particular uh, properties okay to make this one then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d to duplicate and then let me just use it for the other purpose uh, later on so let me just select this one and i can just go and go to 3d format and i can make it a depth also before giving the depth if you want you can just subtract it also let me just take this one now and reduce the size hold the shift key you can reduce the size you can see here shape fill i can give some different color again press ctrl d to duplicate i'm just going to place it here so i'm going to cut this much area okay first select this the gray color then hold the shift key select this light gray color and go to format merge shape i'm subtracting this one so you end up getting a shape something like this you can see here now let me just make it a something a depth okay so let me just go to this depth and increase the depth here you can see here something like this maybe you can make it 10 points and then you can come to the lighting and then you can just give some different lighting options available whatever the best you can feel you can just add it something like this all right now this part is done let me just change the background to uh, some dark color background or if you want you can make it white also but i prefer uh, using any color of your choice maybe i'm going to use uh, this uh, of orange background okay so let me just place it the right place here all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use one of my old slide which i've used to make the rocket okay this particular slide let me just show you how it works you can see here i have just made this kind of a, a rocket discovery uh, kind of thing and then it goes up you can see here the clouds are there and all those things so I don't want this one let me just delete this I'm going to select this one you can I'm going to provide the link in the video description section you can just use this particular slide so let me just copy this control C and come here 
to this slide and press Ctrl V to paste it and then hold the shift key and I can just reduce it, increase the size, whatever. And I can just bend it a little bit, something like this. All right. If you want, you can just reduce the size and place it something like this. Okay. So this one, the, the rocket has been added here. Now it's time to add the clouds. Again, clouds, you can see here, I have provided the cloud link also. You can just copy this cloud or you can create your own clouds also. So let me just copy this and bring it here. Control V, paste it. And here I can just turn a little bit, reduce the size, all right. I'm going to place it something like this press ctrl D to duplicate reduce the size I'm going to place one here ctrl D once again and I'm going to place one more here and if you want you can increase the size also so it looks something like this now uh, it doesn't even if I send this to back let me just send this to back the clouds even if I send this back, you can see here the clouds are visible from this one. So how to hide this one? To hide this one, I'm going to insert shapes and from the lines, I'm going to choose this freeform shape. Okay, so freeform shape from this place, you can see here, I'm taking my mouse still here like this. All right. And from here to this end, this and this. All right let me just shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give the same color as the background and then i'm going to bring the this only front so this way we can hide the the clouds you can see here the clouds are available only this one now again it doesn't look good i want to give some background here so for this i'm going to use this one which we have used before so let me just give some different color here and then I'm just going to place it here exactly and then send this to back. All right. So you can see here it looks like a cloud, the sky and this is our rocket. And now what we can do is it we can add some like a trail or something like that. And then we can add the text here. So to add this one, uh, go to insert shapes sorry not the icons uh, shapes i can use either this trapezoid or i can use the freeform shape also so let me just take the trapezoid draw the trapezoid you can see here something like this and rotate it and put it here something like this and then just you need to rotate it properly and you can just reduce the size all right something like this you can see here Again, if you want, let me just zoom in and then I can just adjust it properly. Shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. I'm going to use some gradient color. So gradient color I have used. I'm going to use uh, the type as linear and one side. I'm going to make it fully white. You can see here and then maybe the direction should be like this and the other one should be gray. And let me just make it somewhat transparent. All right, and this also. Something like this, you can see here, I can make it somewhat transparent and then go to the effects, soft adjust, increase the size. All right, so it looks something like this. All right, if you want, you can just adjust it according to your requirement, whichever way you want to place it, you can place it and uh, then you can add the text go to insert text box you can write your headline center align make it increase the size and then you can add some detailed text so let me just add equals hello rem within bracket one again i can make justify font as white and again just place it here and you can add more uh, options or more text here depending on your requirement now we have uh, completed this one it's time to add the animation now so go to the animations tab enable the animation pane and by default you will see some uh, animations are there because i have used the the slide which i have uh, the animations before that's the reason it's copied here so i'm going to delete all these animations 
let me just close the format background and here this particular uh, rocket i need to place it here something like this all right so you cannot see here let me just hide this one you know this particular area which we have added here so for that you can go to the home tab selection selection pane and then i am just going to hide this one all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to place the rocket here and animations let me just close this uh, animations add animation more motion paths and i can just use this diagonal up right and click ok and this one i'm going to place exactly here so double click this one remove this smooth start smooth end timings depending on your requirement mediums high or whatever so it comes something like this all right and then for this also i'm going to use it a wipe wipe effect from maybe from left all right and then this should happen with previous a little bit delay we have to adjust the time so let me just play now it comes something like this but still this is coming i have to just make it more uh, maybe 1.5 yeah so something like this you can add it and then let's enable that back and for this also you can just add the animation fly in this one i'm going to make it from top after previous and this one also fly in i'm going to make it from bottom and then this should also happen with previous and let me just go to the home tab select selection pane and i will enable this back close this let's see how the animation looks now you can see here it looks something like this so this is just one sample i did you can add maybe an online teacher here or so many things so many different objects or icons you can add it here